The one sentence I heard this morning at the kindergarten was, if you stop crying and finish your food, you will get a sticker afterwards. <laughs> this like, hearing that was like, is she joking? Like, did she really say that? think yourself why is Robert looking so wasted it's because I am wasted these past days were challenging me to the core I can tell you it is already 5 p.m. <laughs> we're on the way to the beach Papa. yeah Abada. Abada. yeah yeah <laughs> take it with you big one this morning I went with Leo to one of the local kindergarten. Yesterday I shared with you that's our intention to build a living space where the whole family can live together and everybody is happy and has their needs met, including Leo and his great grandma and his mom and his dad and his gra grandpa and everybody. And until that's the case, we are like one week Leo with us in the mountains in the jungle and one week with his mommy here in the south and since Elina doesn't have her family here with her on Bali she relies on something like a kindergarten do you have support with Leo? yeah? 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 no we cannot go there I think oh maybe we can go there let's see can we go there? ah no we cannot go there we can only go here Look, there's close. This is the way to the beach. And so this morning, for the first time, I went with Leo to the kindergarten to support him Papa. to transition into the space. We go to the beach. Yeah. Papa. And to be quite honest, I was shocked. Shocked to see, <laughs> like, really, with almost everything I do, I am really far away from the ordinary world so basically with each and every area of my life I'm doing things very differently than, than what the mainstream does and being in this kindergarten this morning oh there's a house huh? and the sun is setting beautiful it was really like a a clash with reality Papa? Yeah? yeah yeah no I think we go this way this way is to the beach here it's to the homestay really experiencing what is the normality for billions of children on this planet was like little one he's like a, he's such an explorer yeah what did you find oh the algae oh that's nice are they good yeah salty huh salty should we go there yeah, yeah? to the algae yeah. let's go he's like such an explorer and such a su such a free spirit this is his playground like ex exploring muscles and algae and rocks and waves and not toys and building blocks and artificial stuffed animals and this is not just true for Leo this is true for each and every child when they arrive of course they get conditioned and some of them like sit behind Oi, that was too much algae. Some of them sit behind screens for hours each day at age two. <coughs> Which you see. Yeah, come here. The one sentence I heard 
this morning at the kindergarten was if you stop crying and finish your food you will get a sticker afterwards <laughs> this like hearing that was like is she joking like did she really say that this is so far away <laughs> for me and my reality and i was like for real this is how li these little geniuses are treated here with like <laughs> yeah so yeah it feels very 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 wrong to send leo to this kindergarten and at the same time when he is with uh, with his mommy for a full week and she has no support whatsoever it's not working either because she's overwhelmed and as a result leo is suffering and she is suffering and her boyfriend is suffering and that's not a that's not a that's not a, not a thing either so i strongly sense that the living conditions that we have in the forest and like he's exploring like are so much better but not seeing his mommy is not an option either and for her currently moving towards where we are is not an option either Oh, that looks good. That looks good, huh? Look at those. Mama! Uh, yeah. Is a gift for mommy? Uh, we bring it to mommy? Let's do that. Papa! Oh, what's that? What's that? So many. That's not, that's not algae. That's something else. But I don't know what. So many things to cover. Cacao? No, it's not cacao some tiny little but I don't know what it is I don't know what it is mm. it's good it's salty let me try to mmm that's really good it's algae Papa. And the local Montessori kindergarten has a waiting list of like I don't know what a multiple years so that's the dilemma we're faced with right now none of the options it feels really good and the kindergarten feels like really shitty really really shitty I can tell you I, I was there with Leo for four for four hours and he basically did his own thing <laughs> he <laughs> he never joined the group activities that consisted of dancing moves out of a out of a YouTube video like the whole group was dancing and Leo was like okay what the fuck I don't want to do that I just, I'm just doing my own thing and then when we left he was very happy <laughs> that's the playground Papa. this is the playground look at Papa. that yeah yeah uh, what did you find house oh yeah that's from the house huh yeah 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 these, these are uh, for the walls huh? for the wall house yeah 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 from the house that's true, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look what we can find. And Leo knew that this is from a house. He's a two year old. Like, he is not here to. <laughs> he's not. He's not here to build with like shitty building blocks and stuffed animals and dance choreographies out of a YouTube video hosted by teachers that spend time with the children because they are paid to most of them either were super demotivated or super over the top and be like oh my god oh my god oh my god like leo and, uh, and play and uh, which obviously was something that he didn't like <laughs> he was just he just wanted to be left alone and played with legos or whatever he could find What a Papa. fucked up world.
thing the kindergarten has to offer besides relief from constant child care is uh, other children. And currently we don't have the community where there are other kids next door. Older kids Leo can learn from and younger kids he can care. And kids in the same age he can play with. Papa! Yeah. House! Yeah, that's from the house, huh? He found a little part of the house of the wall. So yeah, it's a conundrum. And all these realizations boat. call for. Boat. Yeah, that's a beautiful boat, huh? The fisher boat. Papa. All these realizations call for us building a new paradigm living space where there is community and where there are other children and the adults can co create and can develop their ultimate physical, mental, emotional, Papa. spiritual capacities. Custodia, this is the path. It's already episode 30. With each passing day, my dedication gets stronger. Papa. And I get more aware of how the current trajectory is not working anymore. Papa. Neither for Leo nor for other oh. kids. Yeah. Yeah, what did you find? Oh, that's a black one, huh? A black one. Can I see it? What is that? Black one. For mommy? Uh, for mommy? No. No for mommy? Can take it for mommy as a gift? Yeah. Student. Always bringing gifts, huh? No. More gifts, good. One of them in the pocket. We bring all the gifts we can get. <laughs> Feels like the path of a lifetime. And probably it is. <laughs> Seeing Leo in this kindergarten this morning fills up like as stretched and as challenged I feel right now with everything that's going on. Seeing Leo in this kindergarten erases all of that. That's from a bike. Yeah? Yeah? Later we take the bike? Yeah. And then we go back home. But first we can play a little bit. Home! And we can get some little. And we can get some nice uh, dinner with alchemy. We can go there later, huh? Hola? Yeah. No? Okay, let's go. Camera, camera. Yeah, yeah, camera, we take. Seeing Leo in this kindergarten this morning erases all of that. The and house. fools me, yeah, that's from the house. And fuels me with like all the energy in the whole universe to walk this path with lightning speed so that not only for him but for other children too, this doesn't need to be. A reality anymore because this is horrible and the teacher are suffering too like it was really visible they they don't like their job they're happy when the day is over everybody's losing in these settings everybody and the little ones are losing the most they have their whole life ahead of them and if they as early as age one two three develop these conditionings these like authoritarian settings where they are told like what is good what is not good like how to behave and ah. this breaks my heart really this breaks my heart the whole morning at the kindergarten was okay we do this and now we do that and that's the next step and like it's Papa? not intuitive play photo 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 yeah <laughs> okay let's do it <laughs> there's leo leo photo photo unstructured just driven by their own curiosity like this is how they are learning this is how they are growing this is how they are developing the skills necessary for thriving in the coming times instead of being blind worker bees for jobs nobody likes to have and studies that are not fulfilling and yeah the world is changing friends the world is changing Huh. The world is changing. Education needs to change. Uh. Yeah, let's have dinner, huh? Dinner? Dinner, dinner? Yeah. Alright, friends. The camera battery died at our dinner. <laughs> Cleo just fell asleep, sleeping behind me.
had the most beautiful afternoon and evening. That time was so easy and effortless. Oh. <laughs> Here's the final thought on today's topic. I never bought Leo a toy. Not one. Of course, he has toys. He got them from other people. But I never bought him a toy. Why? Because he doesn't like toys. <laughs> what he likes instead are things that adults are using. He likes a broom. He likes a knife. <laughs> he likes the scooter keys. He likes my camera. He likes the toothbrush. These are the things Leo likes. Because toys... <laughs> things that are designed for the exclusive use of entertaining a child but that have no usefulness for adults are <laughs> not interesting to an aligned child. An aligned child wants to learn to use the tools that he or she sees the adults are using because this is what prepares him for his future life. Learning how to use the, a broom and clean the floor or learning how to open a coconut or learning how to eat with a spoon learning how to clean learning how to cut the grass learning how to climb on a tree and pick a mangosteen these are the things that he sees me and other adults in his life doing and that's why these things are inherently fascinating for him because this is how this is how children are preparing themselves for their future life as adults so i believe the whole invention of a toy is absolutely bullshit and that's why a kindergarten as it is and as we experienced it this morning is absolutely horrible because this kindergarten is full of toys it's a space built by adults where adults do children things with children oh that's a bit dark wait a second where adults do children things with children items <laughs> which is not the ideal preparation for the future life of their children. Children need to be with adults who are doing adult things with adult items and then they participate. So an essential design criteria for the ideal space for children is being surrounded by adults who are doing adult stuff. <laughs> and the kindergarten is the exact opposite enough for today hmm. I go to bed with a feeling of beauty and truth and goodness I'm at peace hmm. with the path see you tomorrow <laughs>